So look how beautiful these are. I was just, I just love the branding of these San Bernardo Spears. It's so incredible. That monk giving you that big old smile, like he's hiding something and he knows you're about to have a really good time. Have you, am I imagining this? I think I once saw the monk winking on a bottle of ABT 12. He's not winking. Is this one of those things where you remember in history a little differently, like a Mandela effect kind of thing? Here's the thing. I'll tell you uh, this little story. When I first uh, had the chance like to try uh, some of the ABT 12 in uh, the small bottles, uh, I purchased, obviously I, I fell in love with it and I, you know, started buying it regularly. I could swore at a certain point that I had seen like, oh, this, look, the monk is winking. And I remember like looking at the bottle and all of that. And then I kind of like, you know, forget about it. Uh, and, and I go back and looking again and the monk is not winking. Uh, but I found out recently that actually, sometimes the monk is winking on the bottom of ABT 12 only. And specifically every thousand bottle they print a winking monk. So the uh, the winking eye is the left eye. And you know, it's a very subtle thing that can drive you crazy because I was thinking, oh, maybe I was drunk, you know, I had too many of the ABC 12, uh, but no, it's actually a real thing. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. You're just, you're on your third ABT 12, you winking at me. Looks like you're winking at me. I think, I think they're playing with us. You know, they're just trying to see if we're, uh, we're paying attention to what's happening and all that. Again, that's why they're wizards. And then you're seeing it. See what? They're trying to see if we're paying attention. And if we got to send you a message, San Bernardes, here at Beer Brackets, we are always paying attention. All right? We are always going to notice these things. Even if we're a couple of quadruples deep, we're going to notice if the monk is winking or not. And we're going to look into it and find out. Try us. Try us if you don't think we can. So for anybody who doesn't know, we talk about doubles, we talk about triples, singles in some cases, quadruples. What are we talking about here with all of these? What are these all represent? Especially when it comes to Trappist beers. It's a big, it's a big part of it, right? And I think a lot of people hear these terms thrown around a lot, but maybe they don't know exactly what it refers to. Should we break this down for people a little bit? I think, I think it's uh, important to do that. I feel like I should cross my legs for this one. This is a serious conversation. Okay, okay, well, let's, let's get serious here for a second. But so here's the thing. Um, most of the beers you've probably heard of are double, triple, and quadruple. Quadruple is a little bit less common. Uh, sometimes they're referred to as uh, strong, dark Belgian, Belgian ales. Uh, but uh, you might be wondering, like, why, what is being doubled and tripled and quadrupled? Well, that's actually the amount of malt. So that's all it is. And you might wonder, well, why is there not a single? And that's because uh, that style kind of like fell out of uh, grace somehow, like it hasn't been produced any longer. Uh, but if you're wondering, does San Bernardus make a single? Yes, they do. It's not called single, it's called uh, the extra four. And Joe can uh, testify for that. I actually can't get that very uh, easily here. Uh, in, uh, in the United States and Florida, but uh, he can. He's uh, actually had me try the beer for the first time and it's delicious. Joe, why don't you tell us a little bit about that? The single or extra four. See, I always thought the double, triple and quadruple meant the amount of fun for the four. Woo! That beer is something special. I can't find it anymore though. They were stocking it for a little while in the, the liquor store here and now it's gone. It's it's almost as though they, they decided the monks just took it away. They're like, no! It's a new white whale. We have so many white whales, it's hard to keep track. There's the white whale. There is one white whale. And if you don't know the story of the white whale, please go back and watch our first Beer Brackets episode. In fact, I'll put a link to it in the description just so you can go back and watch that if you have We will get it one day. <laughs> one day. Although, oh, okay, let's not talk about that here. I don't think they're making it anymore. They keep rebranding it on me and labeling it as different things. Anyways, we'll talk about that in another room. La, 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 la. <laughs> I don't want to listen to you. <laughs> but the four, they're just, they're trying to make it hard for us, man. Everybody out there is trolling us. So the four was just unbelievable. You talk about a single. It was just the most easy drinking, light, crisp beer I've ever tried in my life. 
It's low alcohol percentage, if I'm not mistaken. Is it, it might be, it's a little over four. It's not four in the dot, I know it's called four. Yep, you're right. I think it's around four and, and change, four and a half. Yeah, something like that, right? Um, and it reflects that. If you, if you think like St. Bernard's is 8% beers, or their nine, 10% beers are insanely light, imagine their four percent beers, right? It's, it's like you're drinking carbonated water that has just the most delicious flavor and, and textures to it. It's unbelievable. It, it was delicious. I even I brought it to you, some friends' places who aren't big beer drinkers, and they just they couldn't believe it. And they keep bugging me since then. It's like, hey, where can we get this? Where can we get this? Can you get me some? Can you get me some? It's almost like I'm the St. Bernard's dealer now. I'm like the pusher, but I, I, I can't find it anywhere anymore. I can't even order if I want a specialty order at all. Well, listen, man, first of all, like being St. Bernard's dealer, it's amazing. I love this title. So please, we should introduce this more often. Like, I think that, you know, if, if you can introducing friends to St. Bernard's, it's like, just like gonna open a new world for them. So that's, that's awesome. Yeah, they should get us on some kind of referral program or something. Exactly. Come on. like. But I guess like they probably know that again, like they're wizards. So they have this whole thing planned out, I think. I think if, if ever we do some kind of Halloween episode, I think we have to dress up as St. Bernard's monks. Yes. Yes. But see, here's the thing, because they're not monks anymore. We've talked about this. Uh, so maybe, maybe here's the thing. Maybe this is not a monk. Maybe it's a wizard. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. Oh, uh, okay. So we know about the singles now, doubles, triples. So the quadruple it is just that they're just quadrupling the malt. Yes, it's uh, the the blended amount of malts that are used, and obviously um, you have to think the amount of malt used uh, directly impact also the uh, alcohol level, because the malt is the part in the beer that is. Um, um, deconstructed by the yeast and uh, transformed into alcohol and CO2, carbonation. And that's also the reason why if you do put, you know, leave yeast in the bottle um, when, you, when you're bottling it and then closing it, there's extra carbonation being produced because the yeast is still eating the sugars, part of the malt, and transforming that into CO2. Well, maybe we'll be on the St. Bernard's referral program soon. Maybe next time you see us, we'll be dressed up as St. Bernard's monks or wizards. We'll see. I'm going to have to find a bald cap if I'm going to do that. That'll be my first. It's easy for me. <laughs> I wasn't going to I wasn't gonna say, I wasn't going to say, I, I'm going to have to find one. I'm going to have to find one that matches my skin tone, which is not going to be easy, but I'll see what I can do. I'm going to have to find a luscious frock, something with maybe like a furry collar, big gold medallion. See, see here, here's how we're gonna do it, Joe. We're gonna get you just like a cloak with a, with a, with a cap. So it kind of looks like you're, you're looking out of it, like, and it's more like mysterious. And you're just gonna be there, like, just pronouncing, you know, mysterious spells and moving your hands and drinking beer at times. <laughs> I love it. I can't wait. 